Hello, in this tutorial I want to introduce you to the recursive function. What is a recursive function? A recursive function which call itself uh, repeatedly. So, let's get started. I show it, not explain it because I'm not so good at explaining mostly in English. So, it will be a void return type and call it recursive like that and make it uh, so int i a variable which we give and uh, write out the variable i and make a new line if i is greater than zero then we call recursive and we call it with i minus one like that so it will decrease the value of i and always call itself and uh, write out the i after it this will be a surprising uh, this will be a surprise if you don't uh, see what what's going on in the background so call the function recursive call with the 5 for example save it and uh, compile and run ok I said it will be a surprise first it will decrease the volume so let me show you what is going on here alright in this fun in this uh, in the main we call the recursive with 5 we write out the 5 and 5 is definitely bigger than 0 so it will call uh, this function so it call itself again with 4 uh, we write out the 4 it's bigger and uh, and we uh, call it again so we, uh, this will go while it is not zero in case when it uh, big when it uh, becomes zero like right here we call it zero is not bigger than zero so it will not call itself we write out the zero but this will be the surprise right here because this will not exit it exit from here so when you call a function like in this case it will store the in it will store the variable value so it will store how the function so hmm i think i should uh, make a better explanation for that so it stores the ac the actual program and it the program is stopped right here when it call itself and call itself again it comes here and the program stop the program actual state that's what i wanted to say the actual st uh, state is stored in the stack memory uh, you should know that which uh, element you put the stack memory first you will get last so you first put the 5 and you will last, uh, uh, last get the 5 uh, let's get uh, let's uh, see what is going on so after it runs 5 times it becomes 0 so it will not call itself again so this condition is false and write out the 0 then uh, this uh, function is uh, over but the state the one earlier state uh, will continue from here so it start it stopped here to call itself and then it can now continue because the because the function finished so it will uh, be one then the end okay this function over but we have three more or four more uh, function state so state in the stack memory so the free will uh, finished and 
it can continue to uh, finish the function so it will write free and stop now the 4 comes in because the 4 is now stopped <coughs> so the 4 is now stopped yeah so the 3 finished and now the 4 can run and then the 4 finished and the 5 will run so that's why it will give first decrement and then an increment line we can call it with even 10 or something like that compile run and it will give a much bigger list alright and uh, if your uh, recursive function has no end it will give a stack overflow because it will just push something push something in the stack but it will don't uh, pop from it so and uh, it usually give an error a segmentation error for example if we will put it main right here then main code itself and the code itself 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 and stack overflow nothing else okay one uh, usage of uh, recursive function is the factorial so get the, the number factorial so like that we will write out factorial it will give the 5 factorial 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so we could write it just like that but we will make a record a function for that it will return a long because it's a big number and and factorial and it give a long uh, i okay if i is zero then we return return with one because zero factorial is one we know that one for sure but we don't know the other so and uh, else we will call the function will call itself again so factorial factorial i minus one and actually we return the factorial i minus one it means that uh, for example if we call it with three three is not zero so we call it two 2 is not 0, so we call it uh, actually uh, multiplied by i. So we call it with 3. A 3 is not 0, so it will factorial 2 times i, but we don't know what factorial 2 is, so we call the factorial again. 2 is not 0. So we call factorial 1 uh, times i, but we don't know what factorial 1 is, so we call factorial 1. Uh, factorial 1 is not 0, so i is not 0, so we call factorial and with 0 times i, but we don't know what factorial 0 is, so we r return here, and 0 is definitely 0, so we return 1. Now. 1 times 2 comes in and then it uh, and then it will return and factorial uh, 3 and so on so let's get compile and as you can see it will uh, it will uh, give back the 5 factorial which is 120 so with a bigger uh, with a bigger factorial, we should get a very big number. As you can see, it is uh, it is a big number. All right then, 
it is more than 3 million if I see well. Call it with 20, I don't sure that 20 factorial is the, that the log can uh, store 20, uh, 20 factorial, but we will see. No, it doesn't store it. It means that we run out from the bound of the long. So we so it means that uh, it will increase and when it uh, achieve a very big uh, number so the maximum number it can store it will grow one and it will be the minus maximum number I don't know but this is true uh, so you understand that but I will try to show you so imagine that this is your computer memory it's an 8-bit number so actually it's a byte it uh, it can store maximum 255 elements because there is two zeros in it so not 256 and uh, it is now the positive maximum so this is 127 I think so but we can easily make sure about that so we make it uh, programming and write it 7 1 2 3 4 5 7 in decimal oh in binar 6 7 the decimal yeah this is 127 if we add 1 to it it will become uh, a minus 127 because uh, it will grow 1 and this is uh, indicate that this is a mi minus number or not the first bit and we, if we uh, increase the value, then we, then the value will decrease. So it will be minus uh, 126, minus 20, and uh, 125, and so on. So that's why we get a negative number because uh, it is a very big number. So 20 factorial is a very big number and the long cannot store such a big number okay I think that is for today because I made this uh, I don't know fifth or sixth tutorial today and thanks for watching and have a great day